Welcome to another amazing GCN Tech unboxing. And this week, we have got a ridiculously good prize for you guys. One that I'd quite like to win myself, but apparently I'm not allowed to enter. I know. Anyway, not one, not two, but three very lucky viewers will each win two pairs, yes, two pairs of brand new Oakley sunglasses and a spare low light prism lens. Pretty awesome, huh? Right, now before I go into details of the glasses and how you can win them, be sure to subscribe to GCN Tech if you haven't already and click the little bell icon as it'll give you a notification every time we upload a video so you don't miss out on chances to win awesome prizes like this. Right, I think we should crack on and get them out of the boxes. So, I mean, on Oakley's, even the cardboard boxes, they come in are nice. <laughs> this kind of like two-tone on them. And then inside, we've got the soft vault cases. These are actually really useful for keeping them safe inside travel bags and things like that. They keep them nice and protected. So we have here the Oakley jaw breakers, special edition ones. We also have the Oakley Sutros and a spare low light prism lens for the jaw breakers. So, you can keep riding all year round. The uh, low light prism lens is especially useful in winter, I'm told. And just to be clear, each of the winners will receive a pair of the Jawbreakers, Sutros, and lens as well. Now, by my calculation, Oakleys have been worn by more Tour de France champions than any other sunglasses brand. And they've been a familiar sight for many years. Now, first up, we have the Jawbreakers, which have been around a few years now and are a familiar sight on the faces of Chris Froome, Mark Cavendish, Greg Van Avermaet, and Alejandro Valverde, to name but a few. But these aren't any ordinary jawbreakers. They're Tour de France special editions to mark the 100th anniversary of the Maillot Jaune. So you've got a really nice matte black frame with lots of yellow details all over it to well, celebrate the Mayo Jaune or yellow jersey, including these nice yellow Oakley logos on the side. But my favorite little detail is the Tour de France logo down here that's etched into the Prism Road lens. Prism is Oakley's lens technology that's intended to enhance the contrast of a given environment so that you can see more detail. Now the Prism Road is intended for the road and the aim is to give more definition of the road surface so that you can spot things like potholes or better see road markings. They also make prism lenses for other environments. So the prism snow is intended for use in snow, as you probably guessed, and the prism golf is intended for, well, helping you spot white balls in green fields. There's loads of nice little functional details built into the glasses as well. So you've got vent holes on the lens to help stop them fogging up. And also the unobtainium nose piece and unobtainium on the arms as well. Now this isn't the fictional super high value element mined on the moon of Pandora that's central to the plot of James Cameron's blockbuster Avatar. It's just what Oakley calls its proprietary polymer that keeps the glasses in place on your face while remaining comfortable. And they stay in place, it's pretty good. Arguably not just good for cycling, ideal for moshing too, perhaps. Anyway, the lenses are all impact tested and block out 100% of UV light. Right, on to the next pair, the Sutros. They're cool. There's still all the functionality you'd expect from a pair of performance sunglasses. You've got great, you know, peripheral vision, but they're in a kind of little bit more hip, less aggressively styled, more retro package. They're a bit more disco than the jaw breakers. And that's exactly why they were created. I mean, not, not for discos, but there was a trend that more and more riders were starting to sacrifice functionality by choosing to wear glasses that didn't look as sporty or as serious as the jawbreaker. These non-cycling specific glasses often don't have the lenses that are optimized for road conditions or the fit or the special unobtainium polymers to keep them in place or things like anti-fog. So Oakley set about creating a pair of glasses that was 
less aggressively and sportily styled than current designs, but still had the functionality, and the result is the Sutro. For me, they're like a, a modern version of Greg LeMond's legendary eye shades. Now, one key difference between the Sutros and the Jawbreakers is that these aren't designed around lens interchangeability, so the lens is fixed within the glasses, whereas on the Jawbreakers, the jaw literally breaks open and allows you to swap out different lenses for different environments. And that's why we're also giving away the Prism Low Light Lens. According to Oakley, it's engineered to help optimize detail in low light and also artificial light without causing a color shift in your vision. I should have said that there were only two prizes available and then I could have kept the third set for myself. Why didn't I think of that sooner? Idiot. Anyhow, now for the part you've all been waiting for. How do I get my hands on these awesome shades from Oakley? Well, it's really simple. Just click the link which is in the description below and that'll take you to our giveaways page. Fill in your details and you'll be in with a chance to win these amazing prizes and it's completely free to do so. Once you've done that, why not check out the GCN shop? We've got the greatest t-shirts available to humanity there, including my current favorite, which is this special Outdoors themed one, complete with Dutch corner, pretty cool. And uh, after that, if you'd like to watch another video, Oakley's got an awesome history in cycling. So we checked out the seven most important designs that Oakley's ever produced and uh, it's a really good video, so it's down here.